Joe here from the Guitar Nerds Podcast. Hot on the heels of Fender's wonderfully exciting, if not slightly expensive, Parallel Universe series, here comes Squire with its own affordable version. The Paranormal series, six guitars and one bass, all the result of otherworldly goings-on, but really it's a range of guitars mostly filled with some unique modifications on existing models and some reissues of cool Fenders and Squires that we've missed. Originally introduced by Fender in 1998, the Toronado is an offset set with a bit more oomph, dual humbuckers, string through body individual Gibson-esque volume and tone controls. Admittedly, this is probably the most standard instrument in the lineup, but the Toronado is so flipping cool that it's a welcome addition to the affordable end of Fender's range. They finally done it! After courting the Telemaster in other ranges over the last few years, there is finally an affordable version of the Telecaster come Jazzmaster, the Offset Tele. The combination of the Telecaster pickup configuration and headstock shape with the body of a Jazzmaster has been incredibly popular every time Fender release it, but often it comes with a premium price tag. Now available in two great colours in the Paranormal series by Squire, there is no reason not to take a gamble on this gorgeous offset. One of the most exciting instruments in the range is the Paranormal Cyclone, named in line with the whirlwind of parts from different Fender models that come together to form this fantastically unique instrument. Body of a Mustang, pickups of a Strat, albeit angled differently, controls of a Jaguar, short scale 24.75 inch. This wonderful instrument is a bit of everything. Available in popular pastel colours, Daphne Blue and guitar nerd's favourite, Shell Pink. Next up, the Supersonic is back! and Nick Reinhardt must be dancing a jig. The increasingly rare old Squire Supersonics from the Vista series are getting harder to come by, so this is a welcome return of one of Fender and Squire's weirdest instruments. Featuring an upside down Jaguar body and headstock, aggressive Squire atomic humbuckers, a short scale and a very skinny 1.5 inch nut width, this crazy instrument is perfect for anyone looking for something a bit different. Next up, the Cabernita Thin Line. My goodness, I absolutely love the Cabernita. It is a slice of liquid cool. Now available Thin Line, semi hollow, and modified for the paranormal range, this Super 50s rock and roll guitar has been souped up with a pair of Jazzmaster single coils and a string through bridge. The model that started life as a Fender custom shop has appeared on and off over the last few years in various ranges, from custom shop to Mexican built to Squire vintage modified. Now available in vintage white or fiesta red in the paranormal series it is wonderful to have a version of the cabernet back in the squire range and again at such an affordable price to go one step further, they've even released the Cabernita as a solid body baritone model, this time with an Indian laurel neck and a 27 inch scale length. The Cabernita seems to lend its simple, bold, rockabilly looks to a baritone scale, and now available in the paranormal range, I can't imagine Fender have built enough to deal with how popular this will be. And finally, the Jazz Bass 54. More a parallel universe range model than a paranormal range, the 54 Jazz Bass takes Takes a look at what the jazz bass could have looked like if it was designed and built in 1954, borrowing plate design and classic butterscotch and black from the P bass of 54, but maintaining the neck profile and body contours of the sleek and slender jazz bass. Coupled with 61 style stack pot concentric volume and tone controls, this is a jazz bass for 50s fans. So there you have it, the new Squire Paranormal series, a range of otherworldly guitars and basses for anyone looking for something a bit different without breaking the bank. So what do you think? Let us know in the comments below, like and subscribe, and we'll be back next week with more of this guitar nerdery. Farewell.